we're going to look at how to use the transform tool under object and transform and we're also going to learn how to use the transform tool which is a, actually a different type of transform tool, tool under effect distort transform and transform and we're going to look at how to make changes once you've done it how to make changes to your transformations should you want to so to start with, I got me a square here filled with black. I got a, it's a 100 pixel square. I got the stroke set aligned or set to the inside just to help uh, show this a little bit better. So we're going to start with object transform. And we're going to go to transform each. And because we know it's a 100 pixel box, I want to move it horizontally. 100 pixels and I want to make it a copy we can do a preview here so you notice how it moves 100 pixels if we do a copy we have two now each one's an individual object as you notice here I can select one I can select the other now under your I have my appearance panel transform panel info panel set all up but if you don't have a transform panel you got a window transform and get it to show up there okay let's say you wanted to make a change you could change the width the height the location x and y locations right here it's very simple we could change this one to say 150 width and 150 height and uh well I, actually it did that right away because i had it linked if you if you wanted to uh change one side without changing the other say the width without changing the height just break that link right there okay so I want command Z out of that that's how you do that transform you can make let's say let's try one more thing I want to show you you know object transform transform each we got it we're gonna make a copy 100 pixels we'll move it over and let's say I needed 10 of them on the PC is control D on the max command D Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, one, eight, nine, ten. That should be uh, ten right there. But anyhow, you just uh, Control D or or PC Command D on a Mac. So let's make a. Let's take this one here. Let me take these out here. Actually, let me do it this way. Let's go look at. The transform and distort under the effects menu or distort and transform we're going to go to transform and again we know there are 100 pixels I want to move let's say 100 pixels that way and 100 pixels down pixels down and I'm gonna make five copies here you can actually make copies. There is a little bit of difference I'm going to show you here. But I'm going to make five copies just like that. And we're going to do, go ahead and preview. So we got, it looks like a staircase. You'll notice, oops. Okay, we're going to go, okay. You notice the first one selected. You can't select any of the other ones when you use this method. If you look at view, outline, there's really only one object that you're seeing. It's just kind of weird. But uh, that was that would be how you could use that. And if you wanted, it, but if you wanted to make a change here, if you made a change in the transform panel, you would change change them all. We're gonna go to the transform uh, in appearance. Go to your appearance panel, and if you don't have that, you can go here to appearance. You'll select transform. You won't see this in the previous way we showed transform. And like I said, if you went here and made changes, it would change all of them. But let's say you go to the appearance panel, we didn't want to stagger it. We meant to do it horizontally. We can set vertical back to zero. We'll preview. And it brought it up to zero. Or if we wanted to set it to uh, we'll go ahead and set this to zero and we want to set this vertically at 100 we could do that as well let's go back to this way 
zero. And let's make seven copies. Say you needed more copies. And there you go. So it's really that easy. The appearance panel is a good place to make adjustments to your effects. Distort and transform. And then transform. And then your regular transform panel under transform transform each is what we just showed and that's all there is to it if you want to see more videos uh, on Photoshop Illustrator Dreamweaver and I even have some various programming language videos are all free you can go to www.skeeterz71.com